everybody. We're just, you know, you guys can see us. Did you mess with the settings? I'm only messing with it now that it wants me to help it. We never had these issues before, so it's just technical stuff. New computer, new program, new cameras, new everything. It's supposed to be easy. This is why people don't go live. What? It's supposed to be easy. All I heard was post be. Are we still broadcasting? Okay, so what's yeah, the issue? It's not buffering, you're moving now, so. Okay, just uh, let me say hello. Sometimes it takes a minute to get started. Where I think it might be internet or YouTube is the problem. Rachel says nothing worth it is easy. <laughs> very true, Rachel. Very true. Very, very true. Okay. Just waiting to see when they tell me how it's looking and I'm still working on the bitstream thing. Well, yeah. I We've never had that problem before. No, never. So it's kind of new to me here. was a bit spotty in the beginning, but looks good now. Okay, so maybe we're good to go. Okay. Yeah, I've got a green light, so... Out and we don't notice because we have like four monitors while we're doing this. Um, just let Don know in the comments. He'll be watching the comments and typing away. So if we've got enough people to start, why don't we start? Is this cute? Okay, I'm loving it. I wanted to point out, Don thought this was fabric or something here. And it's... Um, it's uh, motif stitches strategically are you, are you sure placed. It's not fabric. No, Don, it's not fabric. It's stitches. That's that's fabric. Not fabric. That's stitches. And it'll take a few minutes to stitch out. So we're going to make this mug rug today. I wanted to mention, I wanted to hold out my gorgeous, gorgeous scissors. These are the scissors that I use all the time in the video. They are here. Aren't they pretty? And we are going to be giving away these exact scissors. We've got six of them in the OML Embroidery University Facebook group. So to the OML University logo, and it's cool because it's a nice bright pink like that and stands out for the month of April. And as long as you have that up in April, you could win. And we're just going to do it you know, random times. So we'll ship them to you anywhere in the world. So don't worry if you're in New Zealand or Australia. I had a few people ask me that. We will ship them to you at our cost. It's fine. So a heck of a contest, six of them. So you guys uh, get going. Wave in every group all across Facebook. So we still doing okay, Don? Yeah, I'm just going to share it in the group. Okay, Don's going to share it in the group so we can dilly-dally with fabric. Now, I am going to use my favorite layer cakes, uh, a little bit of, of extra fabric, but that's okay. And I'm going to select from the same pack. I got this one from Cricut, of all places, at, because I have, you know, a Cricut machine and I was getting the Cricut mystery boxes and they had layer cake love them so this the one I finished is actually coming from this pack so I hadn't selected fabrics yet so I thought we could go through them I used that one on uh, in pink on something and it was really cute I love it there we go so we've got four of those this one my kids really like that one and I'm thinking that might be kind of flip floppy too so this is the one I used here we can do the same and what I did for the colors is I pulled the white here and I pulled that's like a purpley color and a hot pink and that's why it looks good because I pulled the crumb in there there we go girls like that one too that's nice and bright and that would look good with pink and white 
I love it. That's nice and bright. Everything okay, Don? Everything is good. Nice bright yellow. This I've used. This one's in pink and green and different colors, so matching but different colors. Now this one matches the one we saw up here. So this is what I love about layer cakes. I love it. Matches but different colors. Same pattern, different color. There's the green one. They're kind of like arrows or something. This one is cool. I'm I'm kind of thinking of this one because I have this thread on McDreamy. This is gun old thread. Uh I have a number on it. 61252. I don't know. Maybe you guys can read it. And it's awesome and I want to use it, but see how well it matches to the flower. So that might be good for most of the stitching. I think that would be awesome. Oh, and look, we could use a little piece of this for the flower and it would still match. All right, that's what I'd like to do. What do you guys think? The vote, let Dawn know in the comments. We'll let that sit for a minute, but that's kind of what I'd like to do because I like it. Look, there's bright reds in this too. Let's move the tops off beautiful fabric i was looking at this thinking another thing we could do is a uh, green nice bright green rachel loves the blue thread yeah i just want to use that thread for something and you know look how look how well that's gonna match and stand out isn't that something liked the flavor of it <laughs> flavor I didn't really have any plans for it. I just really liked it. This is in the one we did. I just love the little flowers on it. So that one and this one for the flower, or should we do it the other? So on our flip-flop, we have the base fabric here, and then we have a flower. So should we use this? And you know, we can fussy, whoop, little off screen there. We can fussy cut this part out in the middle of the flower, if we're careful. And this for the background or the other way around. So white for the background for the background and this thread. So let Dawn know about which ones you like. We have one for the white background. The white for the background? Yeah. Okay. Majority rules. Everyone has a vote on when we do stitch alongs. All right, I'm going to move this. This is, let me see. Let me see. We could do white on the back. Because I will probably not remember to change my bobbin thread. Because I never do. I never do. All right. So I'm just going to put this in my little red trolley. Sorry, I didn't mean to move away. I also have to do this. I haven't plugged my foot in. So just get, give me a sec to do that. I just saw it hanging there and that would have been tragic had I started stitching and it's awkward to do just because of the way mcdreamy's a sitting having technical difficulties dawn oh no well it's hard to get around the cameras it's right there you have lots of space <laughs> do i do, do i really yes it looks like uh, people are voting for the white background we have one for the peak okay why was my machine beeping? And some people are asking where they can get the flip-flop pattern from. Oh, it's an OML Embroidery University, and it's a free design. That's on Facebook. Yeah, it's on Facebook, right in the group in the files section. Join the group, answer the question. Um, it's super easy. Okay, I guess I need help plugging this in, Don. I can't see it. Can you go around? Okay, pause for technical stuff. I can't. I can't do it, Dodd. Fix it. Everything's in the way. Okay. Is the cricket mystery box really worth it? Um, yes. Yes. Oh my goodness. I I got amazing stuff in here. Uh we're in Canada, if you guys don't know this. We are in Canada and anything Cricut is super expensive. And if the videos, I unboxed a couple of them, they're amazing, the value. I think it's like 
two hundred dollars that you get for twenty nine or something. Um, I have so much. I have all the tools, and I have vinyl and iron on vinyl. I'm happy with it. Um, if you need that stuff, I think if you wait a little bit, you kind of run the risk of it running out. But if you wait a little bit, they tell you what's in it. So, well, I picked up three. There happened to be three, and they said what's in it. Like, wow, are you kidding me? The flower making one, all of it. I was pretty happy with that action. Pretty darn happy indeed. So, okay, white background we've decided on with the pink flower in the flip-flop. And I might use this color all the way through. Whoops, sorry, I'm on McDreamy again. I'm trying real hard to not hit cameras. No whoops. No whoops. I have to take the orange off. I was using this bright orange um, so it would show up on the freehand stitching video. So I thought orange. I gotta have the Halloween colors going on. Just nice and bright and easy to see. Now don't bang any cameras. All right, how many people we got? 20. 20 people? Oh, we're so happy you guys are here. That's awesome. We haven't done a live in a long time and we do have reasons for it. So we're gonna, we're gonna try to get back in on it now and uh, do a lot more lives because we have fun doing it. I have over on McDreamy over there, which we'll switch to in a minute, I have water soluble stabilizer and we just need some batting. So if Don could switch to camera two, we got a fantastic view of McDreamy and just let me know if I bumped it or not, Don. Uh, looks good. Okay. So, shall we get started? The first step is we are going to stitch out the placement. So, let's go McDreamy. Oh, I can't see. <laughs> I forgot to put something out for me to see what it looks like. I guess you'll have to tell. Oh, I'm watching for cameras and cords here. So, this is the placement. And the next step we're going to do is... Once this is done, what a cool shape. I had so much fun making this. It's so awesome. Yes, Rachel was asking if you created the flip-flop and what software you used. Uh, probably for this one I used E4. E4 is what we use. We have a commercial embroidery business and we use that for, you know, it's, I'm just used to it. But you can create this in any software. Okay, so the second step is we're going to stitch this part down, which is awesome. Yeah, if you have E4, might as well use it. Um, Hatch could have done it just fine. Sure, and Brilliance could do it just fine as well. Any of the softwares. Because what I'm doing here is just basic stitches. It's nothing too spectacular. But it looks awesome. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, I don't know how well you guys can see it, but this stuff is really thick, this batting. So I am. it would have been easier if you put the on this step, step number two, if you put the fabric just over the batting, but I have a hard time with this batting. So I'm going to stitch this out. I'm going to trim it like it is, and then I'm going to reverse the color and stitch down my fabric. I just know it works out better. So Dawn, I hear you typing away. Can you switch a camera one so we can trim it out? Camera one. Oh, and I just bumped. I just bumped. Okay, well. we'll Don't have... bump. We'll have to set that. It's kind of in my way. Okay, camera one, we on? Yeah. Okay, so normally you don't have to do this step right now, but I know this stuff and I've had a hard time with it. I'm actually almost finished the stuff that we bought. So next time we're gonna get something a little thinner so it's not so hard to do. So when you're trimming out, try to be careful. Stay close to the line. Don't go over. I hold the fabric up and turn my scissors this way and I find that I get a much better cut. It's also all about angles so feel free to turn your stuff around. There. 
Everyone chit-chatting, Don? It's, it's a little quiet in the chat. A little quiet. Chat with jo Don. Nobody wants to give me a hard time today, so there. <laughs> oh, he was hoping for that, so we need a few of our regulars in here to give Don a hard time. They just I, know to do it. I see a bunch of new faces, which is nice to see. That's awesome. Um, we can explain to the new faces that uh, you are allowed and, in fact, encouraged to give Don a hard time because he's pretty much the only guy around, and, you know, why not? Why not? Okay, switch back to camera two, Don. Camera two. And I bumped camera two, so is it still okay? Camera two looks good. Okay. So, we did just step because of my, my thick batting. Now, I'm not going to be able to fussy cut this too much, but I want that one to show in. There's nothing wrong with taking a few minutes to to place your fabric how you want it. I want the bright stuff to show. So, I mean, it's not going to be perfect. It's just rough cut sort of thing, rough doing. And I am going to back up McDreamy. Just one. So he's going to stitch this down. That is not the droid I was looking for. All right, so I boo-booed there. <laughs> Let's cut the thread. Let's go back. Go here. Oh yeah, I did. I went the wrong way. Darn it. Did I ever? Okay, so that's our first one. This is our second one. Sorry about that. If you guys ever do something like that, just back it up. Don't pull these stitches out because we'll just stitch over them again. All right, that's exactly how I wanted that one. Isn't that awesome? Woohoo! Kimberly asked if you were doing the same step twice. I am, yes, because I have problem batting. So I reversed it. I Sorry, I don't mean to confuse you guys. I went back to this color because I wanted to cut out. See how thick my batting is? And it's hard to cut out the batting and the fabric so I can get a much neater cut by doing this. So I just reversed it and did this step again. No doing it, you stitch the outline and then you put down your batting and your fabric and stitch it down. So yeah, I just did a little bit extra because I know my batting sucks. So there we go. So now we're on to the next step and I'm gonna leave this gorgeous turquoise color cause that's what we decided on. And uh, let's stitch away. This is where we're getting into some of the decorative stitches. And uh, make sure when you guys are stitching this out that you pay attention to the jump stitches that are going on. Um, Cause there are none, there shouldn't be any. I made some great connections and I'm really happy with it. Hey, look, doesn't that turquoise look amazing on the white? Woot woot, it's a little bit different. I like it. I like it, he says. I do, it's pretty. Uh, are, you, are you gonna use that pattern stuff again or is it gonna be the motif stuff? For what? The what stuff do you mean? That you keep telling me it's motif and I don't think it is. It, it is, that stitches out shortly. <laughs> Just the first glance, see? Isn't that a nice, isn't that a nice connection stitch? So instead of trimming here or jumping here, I ran this up underneath everything. So now, no trim there and everything keeps moving along and I really like that. It's a real important part of digitizing. Okay, uh, we, what? We, we have some newbies. Okay. Rachel. Ah, I don't have any to show you, <laughs> oh. which is awesome. A jump stitch is where the machine would go from here to here, because this is actually the, the next connection. I'm going to stop the machine so I can show. The, oh, it's going to stop anyways. So it's going to show you. So um, back here, if you see, 
Some machines don't trim and some do trim. And a lot of people will do this part and the machine will just jump over to the next one. And you have to trim that out and it might get caught on your machine. So it's better to connect them. So this turquoise that I just stitched is all one piece. It's jumping from one object to the other. And you know, if you have a machine that cuts, it'll trim it and it just gets out of hand. So higher end digitizing should contain the least amount of jump stitches between objects and between colors. Do, hopefully that makes sense to Rachel, hopefully. Uh, uh, hopefully, I, I think it sounded good. Um, Kimberly says she uses fleece for batting and it can also be difficult. Yeah, it can be kind of thick. I, I don't know why we got this one. I guess I wasn't paying attention when I bought it. And it's really nice because if you look here, look at the loft it gets, like it's up more. It's just cutting it. I, I sometimes have to use really big scissors. And when you use really big scissors, it sucks because you can't do it neat and tidy like I did. But yeah, you see, I think it's awesome. What's our view done? Can I see? Wait. Just so I know if I'm pointing at stuff. Oh, that's an amazing view. Mary wants to know what uh, batting you'd recommend for it. Um, well, you buy the batting, Don. What do you think? We don't buy expensive it's, batting. I, I know it's not the thermal stuff. No, um, no. It's kind of like a medium, I want to say weight. But I don't know Just the right cheapy there. stuff. Um, the really, really good stuff, and it's a nice weight, it's a nice thickness, is wool and it was quite expensive or cotton 100 percent cotton that's really nice especially for mug rugs rugs because it absorbs it so we're not using this is what it looks like we're not using anything fancy just it happens to be thicker than what i normally like so any kind of white um batting so let's this is the shoe strap so this is going to stitch for a minute the stitching and then after that we get to do some more applique but see the stitches that I'm doing now are gonna come and cover over this part which was our um, connection stitches so you can make connections like that and uh, have it all cover up this is just a nice fill stitch and I like I like the designs and I like how this looks I had so much fun doing this are there any other questions, Don? So do we have people in the OML Embroidery University group watching? I hope. Don't bump the camera. Well, it's a lot of names that I don't really recognize, so... New people! Yay! I, 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 they're in the group, they are new her. <laughs> and we welcome everyone. Yeah, we'll start we're gonna start doing more lives. We had some things going on and me nuts. And I keep a pretty hefty video uh, schedule, so we weren't uh, we weren't having enough time to finally yes. get set up. Now we are though. What, Don? Um, Rachel says, me, Kimberly says, I'm in the Facebook group. Carol's here. Awesome. Linda's in the group. Well, that's great. So the main thing is the channel. We want to build up the channel and get, you know, I want more software. Obviously, I can't pay, you know, five, ten thousand $10,000 for each software to show you how to do it. So the idea is to keep it free for you guys. So the main importance is the, the Facebook group is where we load all the files and give you extra help. So if I put up a video that you're having trouble with or you don't understand, or you have a question, that's where you post it in the group. And we have a bunch of amazing admins and moderators and uh, Don and I are almost always there. It's kind of sad actually, but we're always there to help you. So the, the group is like a backup to the videos. So, and if you go on the channel videos, there's 
hour-long full-end classes that you can do. It's amazing. It's amazing. Lots to learn. Every video, there should be a video for everyone, I think. So here's a nice connection right here. Do you see that? Instead of jumping from there to there, it's connected. Now, that may look weird like this right here, but we're going to be covering it up with the applique, so we don't even have to worry about it. It just makes everything run smoother. So, yes? Um, can you take a peel to hatch and not change it, but add items to make it all in one? To add yes. items? Yeah, I, I think they're asking if you can um, just bring stuff in and add, like, lettering and stuff yes like that. you can do that that's basic editing if you think you're going to go into a pes file and add connections you that's pretty hard i'm sure you could do it but there's it takes up too much time you have to stitch out the stitch files are made for stitching but yes you can do that see for mine that i did that's exactly what i did is I added the S monogram um, on the stitch file before I added that lettering at the machine. And I just kind of, where I wanted it, obviously you don't want it at the very end because you don't want it to be showing on the back. So strategically stop, remember what step you're on, add your lettering and then carry on. That's how I did it. That seems to work nicely. Uh, I was pretty happy with that. So yeah, you can add stuff. Just make sure you put it in the right step. And uh, yeah, why not? A lot of people do that. Uh, if you're talking like major edit editing, that's you can't do that with stitch files. I am just cutting out my next fabric piece here because I kind of want it to be a certain way and it's a gorgeous pink it's gorgeous see i just cut it out we have people representing the uk today here oh we have the uk wow awesome it must in, be bedtime isn't it and and north america of course north america yeah we expect north america that's cool is it bedtime in the uk like i think there's seven hours ahead of us are they seven i don't know All right, so we, good we, choice on the turquoise. I'm loving it. We what? have Fat Dad Customs Design. Oh, cool. Has found us from two regular guys. From two regular guys? <laughs> that was literally the best day ever. That was so much fun. That podcast that I was a guest on, man, that, that was so much fun. I loved doing it. Those guys are great. And it was cool to be uh, interviewed. I thought it was really neat. All right, I'm gonna change colors right here. That's um, that's excellent that they found us that way. That's uh, that's pretty neat, isn't it, Don? Yeah, that's really cool. It's only five thirty in the UK right now. Oh, okay. So dinner time, tea time. They call it tea time. I am going to be bold with my colors so once it starts stitching i guess it's not highlight it's detail work man threading's hard to do around the darn camera i got a good question for you i got a good answer for you maybe maureen wants to know if there's a video that can teach her how to do some of the edge to edge quilting on her quilts edge to edge quilting i'm not a quilter so i'm not really can you explain that a bit more because i make quilting blocks all the time is that what you mean hopefully because i did do a video on um stitch delight the tudor rose which was excellent that pattern is so awesome so I'm just not familiar with the term. I probably call it something else in my head. <laughs> Chances are. Look at the green matches the green here. Isn't that awesome? Matches here. These are cute, whatever these flowers are. Isn't that neat? Do you like it, Don? 
Yes, I do. It's the colors. Yeah, yeah. Really go cool. bold or go home. Sometimes doesn't always work. I, I've had a few failures in this department, but today I have the right colors. Um, I love so bright. This green is magnificent. You, Just you, a quick outline on it. What done? Do you have any other mug rug um, files available in the group? Um, we have a ton of creative kiwi mug rugs because I absolutely love their they're, creative kiwis they're, um, they're, designs. They're not in our group though. They're off from our site, right? Yeah, yeah. Creative kiwi. There should be a link somewhere for it. Don can look it up maybe and post a link. Um, a lot of the Creative Kiwi stuff uh, is free, and they are amazing designs. And if they're not free, they're only like a dollar. You could like load up your... Um, um, but yes, there's quite a few of those. I think I have designed monogram ones, so there'll be a class on how to digitize it, and then another class on how to stitch it out. There's a couple of those, uh, and the rest I think are Creative Kiwi. But yeah, I would recommend Creative Kiwi to anyone, especially beginners, because you will, you know, follow the video and follow Creative Kiwi's instructions and come out with something absolutely amazing. She, her work is stunning. Okay, I'm going to leave the green in here and we're just about to do applique number two. So let's do that. So this is just the outline. Karina made it in. Yay, Karina! See, we get to know people in our in the group because we pay a lot of attention to the group, so we know people who comment and people who comment all the time on YouTube as well. Um, so we get to know Karina. Okay, so I fussy cut this a little bit, and I'm thinking. Let's see. It's worth it sometimes, you know, to take a minute to get your fabric right i think i think that should be pretty good it it of course does not have to be perfect it would be cool if that was in the center this is how i do it just eyeball it does not have to be perfect so placement stitch and then the tack down stitch or stitch down stitch yeah yeah that's how you fussy place stuff. That's awesome. Okay, now we gotta do some cutting. So Don, can you switch me to camera one? And I'll try to do all of this without hitting. I haven't got my hoop out yet. Oh, yeah, well, I messed I'm up I'm already there. on camera one. That's why. Oh, my camera, I'm gonna have to fix the camera. There we are. So look how that the camera because I was holding down the cord. Okay, so quick little trim. Now for this flower, it's going to do a zigzag and then a nice satin stitch. So do you guys think that I should do all that in this gorgeous green that you see here or the blue? So you guys can let me know. I have the green on now, but I can certainly change the color. Carol says you're doing a brilliant job. Well, thank you, Carol. Carol Fink? No, Another Carol. Carol Alma. Oh, okay. Hi, Carol. Yeah, isn't that nice? I love it. I love it when a plan comes together. And that, that's the best part about layer cakes. You know what? Other than this would be too big, you could also use charm squares. That's a nice trick. You get a layer cake and a matching charm square. So for little things like this, you don't have to cut up your big layer cake piece. I do that a lot. I find it's awesome. So green or blue, weigh it up. Green or blue. So cute. That is so cute. So far, I am loving our choices. Can we go back to camera two, Don, and let camera me know? Two's up. Okay, let me know if I have to straighten it. I bumped it, taking my hoop out. 
Are we good? Yeah. Okay, so did we decide green or blue? Green or blue? Um, I'm looking here. I gotta do a quick count. Looks like there's more greens than blues. Okay, so green it is. Let's do our zigzag tack down stitch and see how it looks. Then we'll have to be thinking about the outside. The, the outside of it is a satin stitch. So we can decide on if we want green or blue for that one. Oh, I love how pretty this is. It's so bright. I think it's awesome. It's so bright. Makes me think of uh, like spring, spring colors, spring pretty things. We are having like a big rainstorm here in Canada where we are. So, uh, we needed something bright. I think that's why I went for the bright colors. Yep, good choice, you guys. The green is awesome. Look how that stand. And then the greens here. That's how you make colors pop. That's how you make designs pop. It's actually all about the colors. And if you can coordinate like this, it makes a huge difference. I think the one we're doing now looks way better than this one. And I like this one a lot way better. So how is everybody, Don? Well. Enjoying? You guys yes, having fun? Um, you guys can, another part of being in the OML Embroidery University Facebook group is you can, that is the, the place or, you know, in the comment section, but offering, um, ideas that you have can we do this or is there already a video for this that sort of thing um which is pretty cool because you're dealing directly with don and i there's nobody answering on our behalf it's it's us doing it uh, of course as as well as our admins and moderators which they're all amazing by the way we couldn't do it without them they help out so yeah, if you have any suggestions or ideas or um, I'm gonna be doing next week, hopefully. I don't really have any, any, any plans yet for the videos. They just kind of come to me and I do them. Um, but we're gonna be doing a little bit more of design videos um, because I haven't made any Anita Good Design stuff for a while and I love it. I'm thinking a couple of quilt squares maybe. I think that'll be fun. Okay, love the green. Love the green. This red, or it's a kind of like an orangey red. Reds are difficult to do, but this is also quite a nice color. You could also have picked the bright yellow. Actually, I think I have that. Yeah. See, I might have gone with this. See this yellow from Gunnold? Isn't that amazing? That matches exactly. Isn't that awesome? Yep, so happy. I have everything in the to uh, pull out threads like that. I just keep the ones I use all the time. There. Excellent, excellent. So that's a zigzag stitch. I think it should be doing something else, but I think we're going to put the back on. Now you don't have to take off the hoop and the nice part about using the fabric as we have is look you can see through it so you can see if you're matching or not. I think it's going to do a running stitch. I may have picked the incorrect file. So that should work. Let's see what it does. We're getting close to the end here. Yeah. This is stitching on the back, so I put the fabric face down on it, just to hold it. So it's stitching on the back, and then we're gonna do some trimming, and then we can watch as the final magic happens. I think we should, okay, we wanna uh, stop right there. I did pick the wrong file. I fixed this issue before. 
Okay, let's see if I can take this off. I need to switch to camera one. Your camera two has frozen. Oh, well, can you switch to camera one? Uh, camera one. We're on camera one here? Yeah, right. camera two is frozen. I don't know why. Oh, uh, that's strange. Where are my scissors? Yep, got them. Okay, we'll work on camera two and get that going. I, I don't know why that camera would freeze. So if you had not trimmed the batting, remember I took an extra step for this, this would be the time that you are doing it. So you'd be trimming the fabric and the batting. So for me, it's just fabric because I have thick fabric or I have thick batting. That sucks sometimes. Does look pretty. I did the Stitch Delight Tudor Rose squares with it and it was amazing. And I didn't have to trim anything out. It wasn't an applique. Yeah, it looked amazing. So that's definitely what that stuff is designed for. So there we go. And it looks like I may have a little boo-boo. Let's see, right here. We'll see how that looks on the back in just a second. But it's fixable when you make boo-boos, and you guys know I often do. Nope, see it wasn't, it was just folded. I thought maybe the fabric had folded like this. If you had done that, um, and it's easy to do, um, a precaution you could take is putting a little bit of painter's tape around it so it doesn't move. McDreamy hates tape, so I don't use it, but I have had this slip down. All you have to do is just very, very carefully take out these stitches. It's easy, and then just put it back on, maybe put a little tape to hold it down while it's doing the zigzag stitch, then you're golden. Are you using the tearaway? Uh, no, water-soluble water stabilizer. Yeah, you can use tearaway. I am. Um, uh, I had to buy some more WSS because I use it all the time. And I used for this one, I used tearaway. So you can use what you have, either one. The water soluble stabilizer makes a better edge. So that's the benefit of it because you just take a Q-tip and some water at all. So I'm almost done here. This is looking good. How is our camera too there, Don? Um, well, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. See, Ca even the back's perfect. Camera two is still frozen, and I, I don't know why. Should we leave this here? Should I? That camera never freezes, man. Cam, which gives a fantastic view of the stitching that's going on because our camera two is going to give us a hard time part way through. I'll reboot it maybe. <clears throat> there, I unplugged it. Okay. I saw your hand there now, yes. Did we decide or blue for the outside? I thought we decided that, or did you ask something again? Uh, that was for the first applique. We're talking about the outside of blue for the satin. Yeah, does anyone? What you're looking for? Yeah, blue or or the green that I've got. It would be this green or this turquoise. Blue, pink, yellow. Two for yellow. <laughs> oh, because I showed that yellow. Outside hey, blue. that yellow was stunning. I'll accept yellow. <laughs> well, it's. <clears throat> oh, they're all tied. They got two each. Two pink, two yellow, two blue. Oh, man. Yeah, pink would look good, too. Awesome, guys. Well, we got a three-way tie, so we got to fix that. We got to fix that. Are you going to be the tiebreaker, Dawn? Or? Other people oh, may be voting. Karina, you can't have two choices. Stop that. Karina can. You can <laughs> let Karina have two choices. What what are Karina's two choices? Blue and pink. See, I didn't even think of pink. The Blue, pink in yellow. here. Oh, wrong camera. I was pointing at the wrong camera. 
Do, 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 do. I just didn't know if you guys needed right. some it's deciding between music. Between blue and yellow. All right, blue and yellow. All right, so in the meantime, I'm going to pop this green off and try to remember which <laughs> camera I'm using. Karina says she has too many choices. I'm sorry. Not the <laughs> fun of doing live stitch alongs, though. You can decide. Here's the yellow. Just, All right, do yellow. Just a refresher. <laughs> okay, yellow it is. I think it's going to look amazing. Good idea, whoever had it. I don't have. Sorry. I don't have the. Sorry, Cher. I picked yellow. I don't have. The <laughs> uh, camera three is fine, Don. Okay, yeah, camera three is up. Is camera two being nice? No, I, 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 I don't even get picture on two now. Hold on. Well, at least it's not a total. Uh, disaster. Two is working again. Okay. Two's can, up. Can you switch to two? Yeah, you got two up. Oh no, it reset itself because now it's auto focusing. Okay, so camera three it is All for right, the finale. Back to three, and I will do that, and then you can see we are going with this awesome bright yellow, which is right in here on the design. There's quite a few little bits of it, and I think it's amazing. So let's let it happen. I don't know where the control is for it. Uh. It's it's blue. It's on the um, desktop. Touches my computer. He's not generally allowed to. I can put my green away. I have to pull out the whole set. So what camera are we? I just wanted to poke this in front of the camera. This is the pink that I have from Gunold, which also would have matched absolutely perfectly. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Great fabric, great matching right. threads. Two is up. Awesome design. All right, so we're on two now? Yeah. Well, cool. I don't know what the problem with two was, but... It, it needed a break, apparently. Needed a break. Um, but it wasn't a total disaster. It's not like we uh, uh, lost internet or anything. Don't say anything. We don't want a total disaster. Yeah, isn't that a cute design? What do you think, Don? Do you like it? I love the yellow. Um, if you're really picky, see these greens? If you know what color you're gonna use on the outside, it would have been better to do this outlining and whatnot in the color that you're using. But we decided after, and you know what? Most of it should cover up fine. So here we go with yellow. And if it doesn't, you know what? It still might look cool. Awesome. Could you, I missed it. Um, could you layer the- Yeah, because there's a, um, um, a finishing stitch on top. Yep, you can. I think in the one that is free in the group, that I did that and I changed, did a color change on every step, pretty much, so it would make it easier for you to step out, step, separate out the colors. I don't, I think I picked the wrong design when I was sending it to my machine, so I don't have that, but yeah, that is also a stunning effect. You can do that. All right, now for our finishing satin stitches. Woot! I'll see if I can catch it. Um, if not, then not. Beautiful. See, now it covers up all the lines. No problem. Uh, I see one or two. Eh, I'm not worried. It is better, though, if you don't have these lines. Like, if you have black and then you try to cover it with white, it might show through. But I don't see much showing here, so. Awesome. I'm going to give these to my mother-in-law. And one for her and one for dad. And I think that'll look awesome. Yeah. So, okay, I'll try to catch it so we can do the outside in a different color so you guys can see. I saw my laser come on. That's weird. What are you doing, McDreamy? You're the center of attention. Don't turn on your laser randomly like that. He's mad because I took off his embroidery arm so I de-armed him and put on a sewing arm and he didn't like that too much for whatever reason 
So he's happy to get his arm back and do his thing. Such a good embroidery machine. I'm really happy how this turned out, you guys. Um, Don and I, just random times, um, once we get into it and we don't have camera failures, we will, you know, set up fun times for everyone and I mark it as an event in the group. And so you can plan to be there. We also just like to do it whenever. Um, whenever we have time and that's also fun like today. So make sure that you hit the notification bell um, on the subscription on uh, YouTube and then you'll get an email and you'll be notified whenever we go live. So it's a cool way of doing it. Um, Don also posts a uh, link in the Embroidery University group. So you can catch it in one or two, one of two places. What do you guys think? I'm really happy with this. This makes me want to put flip-flops on. They want a different color for your top stitch. They do? Okay, I'll try to catch it. And we have one boat for pink, so if you want to ask them what they want, now's a good time while we're waiting for it. Yeah, now's a good time. So, <laughs> pink and yellow, or... I was actually kind of thinking just, the just turquoise. Two. Pink, turquoise, you know, green right. would be awesome. What, Don? What, what do we have? Pink, pink or turquoise? Those are your choices. Oh, we're narrowing down. Is that for Karina that you're narrowing <laughs> down the choices? I, I, I'm picking on Karina. I gotta give her a hard time. <laughs> Don't give Karina. Are you still amazing? Yeah. I can see I have sparkles everywhere. I was using some tool, a sparkly tool, so blingy tool, someone said in the comments, and uh, which is really nice, but I see sparkles everywhere. That, the sparkles get everywhere. Oh, I see another one there. Yeah, oh. I see the Kims and Chatter sticking together. They both selected pink. Pink? <laughs> I think pink will look great. And I do see a color change here, so I don't have to rush, and then I can switch over to pink. Look at that yellow. Isn't that the best yellow ever? It's not like a Namsy Pamsy lemon yellow. It is yellow. That is yellow right there. Yellow. I think it's awesome. What I forgot to do, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to change the bobbin to match the top thread. Eh, oh, but I always do. Why'd you, why'd you do that? Eh, what I normally do because I'm talking, stitching, teaching, dealing with everything at the same time, I don't often remember to change it. Um, so I usually start off with the color in the in there so that, you know, the last space, the last stitching looks good and I don't forget. So there's a point that is one step. Before you do your satin stitches, make sure you change your bobbin to match your top thread. And then the stitches underneath will look perfect. So my bad on that. Sorry about that, guys. Really well. I have the pink handy. So we're basically incorporating like every color in here, every main color. I gotta do something else with the green and the turquoise because they look amazing together. I love it. And the pink. So blue, green, pink, and yellow. I I'm gonna come up with something cool for it. You can see that the water, stab water soluble stabilizer or WSS is pulling away a little bit, but that's okay because we're done just about done so we don't have to worry too much about that and you don't definitely matter because we're gonna get rid of all this at the end which we're almost there I hope you guys have enjoyed this this uh, I love picking out the colors with everyone and I love the final results this is awesome I'm really happy so go into the group and download this and I hope to see a wave of flip-flop flip-flops in the group pictures of uh, stitched out and different colors and how they look 
it's awesome. Someone did one right away when we posted it. It was like a couple weeks ago, and I pinned it to the top of the group so everybody could see it. So that's always a possibility. Kim says you gotta pull some pink from. Yeah, we're doing pink on the top, right? Yeah. Yes, we are. So <laughs> that yellow is awesome. Oh, apparently. Um... Kimberly did remind you to change the bobbin color, but apparently I didn't tell you, so. Oh. <laughs> well, thank you, Kimberly. <laughs> I... So I'll take the blame on that one. Yes. <laughs> Everyone give Don a hard time for not uh, reminding me. Oh, you found a better way to have him give me a hard time now. Yeah, give him a hard time. Give him a TSK, which is uh... tisk tisk. <laughs> Don't bump the camera. Don't bump the camera. Didn't bump it. Should be careful what I say. All right. Are we ready for the final stitches, people? Ready? Pink. Nice, bright, bubblegum pink. Okay. Did I shut it off beforehand? That was retarded. Tony Maybe says it's a great teacher's gift at the end of the year. And it's yeah. so good to watch live. Yeah, wouldn't that be great? Okay, pink rocks. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Yep, and that pulls this out, too. Yep, I love it. What do you think, Don? Awesome. I like the pink. It was good. Sorry, just had to have a drink. Lots of talking. Okay, so this is my new favorite mug rug. I love the colors and I love the fabric. That's why I have like layer cakes uh, and stuff. So many different colors and they all match in different patterns. And I think one of my favorite things is design in different colors. I find that really easy to work with. I'm still learning about, you know, putting colors together and different things like that. Layer cakes, just, and it fits for most projects that I'm doing, so I'm so happy with it. Okay, the What's, pink. What stitch are you doing on that? Uh, it's just a motif stitch. You just have to, you know, pick a motif stitch and then size it and make it fit properly on. Um, I made it bigger and I moved, like made more space in between them, so that's all you have to do. You can do that in any software. And ready for McDreamy's happy music? Maureen's having so much fun watching us. Yay! I'm glad. I'm glad. Uh, I'm having, I think they all are. I'm having so much fun stitching. Can we switch to camera one? I'm gonna bump camera two. Are we on camera one? Yeah. Okay. Just making sure. Here's the pink. I just wanted to lay out our colors here. Finished embroidering. Well, thank you. These are our colors that are in here. I'm going to totally move camera two, so remind me I've totally moved it. There. Oh, and I knocked down camera three. Oh, okay. I won't Okay, that's a bit destructive there, what I just did. So here's, here's the colors that we used. The yellow is stunning. This, for some reason, is an amazing green. I uh, ooh, And it goes with this one, and then the pink. So all the colors are so bright. They are just gun old threads, poly 40 threads. And... They're bright, and I love them. So we'll put those aside. Let's look at our masterpiece. How gorgeous is that? Let's take a nice close-up look. I love look. that. Isn't that all nice? All the colors pop really nice. Yep. All the colors pop, and it all goes. It looks like it was meant to be. So I'm just going to pop this baby out of the hoop. And move the hoop, and hopefully not knock down... Any more cameras or break the hoop? We don't want any of that. And look for my scissors. All right, I seem to be clear. I seem to be clear. So water soluble stabilizer. What you do is just cut it out and don't get too 
too close to the edge because you don't want to cut any stitches. There's This is why we're using water-soluble stabilizer. So just trim it out very carefully. Hack, I would call. Just hack it out. See the, the thicker batting, although it's a pain in the butt, it sure makes it look nice. I'm, I'm happy with it. I just dislike cutting it. So dislike, I give you a dislike. So then all you have to do is take a little bit of water and you know, on a Q-tip or something like that, you could cut it down a little bit better than that. And it's gonna get rid of that. Or you could take a little sponge or a wet paper towel and just rub it this way and you'll be able to pull it off, let it dry. And there you go. That is awesome. Let me pose for a picture here, let's see with all of our colors awesome awesome this is my new see i thought this one was good no i like this one Bloop. better i like this one way better yeah. so let's uh whoops let's zoom in for a closer look at all the work this is nice right here i love the colors the pink and the yellow is nice the turquoise we pulled from this flower I fussy cut this flower and the pink stands out and the green stands out. There's little, you know, this fabric isn't that busy, but it's got gorgeous colors. And that's where we got the yellow and we matched it perfectly. There's the green what, again. What number is the blue again? Uh, gun old blue? Yeah. 61252. Yep. Yeah, isn't it awesome? Isn't it awesome? Mm, Kimberly suggested you could use a toothbrush to wipe away that WSS. Yeah, that's a great idea, too. I'll use Don's. What? Hey. He's a little slow. I, I can hear you whispering over there. Oh. And when it, the delay comes through, I'll actually hear it online. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I didn't say anything. It was Karina. See what I did there? So what a fun! Hey, I heard that. <laughs> oh, sorry. He's delayed. he's a little bit delayed over there with his headphones <laughs> on. So I hope you guys enjoyed awesome colors. I think this is fantastic. I really love it. I really think it's cute, and I really love the fabric and the colors. So get yourself some uh, layer cakes or whatever fabric that you want, some nice bright color thread, or come up with your own combination and have fun stitching this baby out. How do you suggest washing that? Uh, you could just wash it. There's, there's nothing. It just whatever the batting says, because this is just you know, cotton material at the top. So, you know, obviously you're not going to wash it in bleach or anything. And depending what type of batting you're using, um, wash it by hand if you want to be 100% sure. Throw it in with your tea towels, that sort of thing. Um, the only thing that you have to watch when you're doing these, now it's polyester thread. And if you have, you know, you're going to have to iron it after you wash it you can can burn and melt the thread so you have to be careful of that personally i hand wash them in the sink and you know squeeze them out and then lay them out and that makes it easier and then i don't have to worry about wrecking anything it's not even an issue so that's how i do it i just you know grab them all and go ahead and wash them so this would be nice bright yellow if i had changed my thread but i didn't so, okay, any other questions? Um, no, I don't think so. Well, you guys can always ask questions if you're having trouble putting it together or finding the file. You can go into the OML Embroidery University and uh, ask questions. And don't forget that we're doing the scissor giveaway, and you guys saw me using them, and they're yes. fantastic scissors. I, I'm going to have to change mine so that maybe I can win because you won't even give me a pair. No, I don't. I didn't. <laughs> I could have, but I didn't. I you didn't. You keep every time I take a pair, you say, "Hey, well, you got these," and you take them. I know. I have like two at my desk, and bad wife, bad wife, 
bad wife. Bad wife. Karina says use a press cloth when you if you're gonna iron. Yeah, them. and just be careful. You, you can iron them, but that goes with any embroidery. Just make sure it's not too hot. Um, you don't to melt, and it would just kind of ruin how beautiful it looks. What are you giggling at? Um, <laughs> I'm listening to the delay, sir. Oh. Wow. So you hear me twice? So I should <laughs> I should give you a honey-do list so you can hear me say it, and then you can hear me say it again. It was it was twice as funny in the delay. Oh. Oh. Don's delayed anyway, so <laughs> maybe he'll catch up when he's done. And more coffee. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys enjoyed stitching with me. I had a ball. Thanks for helping me more lives from now on so you guys can look forward to, you know, just whenever we can and scheduled ones. And we're going to do lots of fun stuff. Creative Kiwi um, and... Uh, Anita Good Design will be doing some of those and uh, we're gonna have lots of fun there is lots to do and lots to learn so thanks everyone for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you guys will show me some flip-flops and I'll see you guys in the next video bye bye everyone bye bye thank